All right, so how you guys doing? It's me, it's Four Caps Gamer. Here we are, GeForce Now. And uh, if you haven't tried a GeForce Now, uh, it's basically a cloud gaming. But, however, they don't have any games featured for you to play. Basically, what it is is you are leasing their computer, their data center, so you can play the games that you already own, that you already bought. You can play it through their computer, their high-end computer. So that way you don't have to spend a truckload of money to build your own PC or build uh, a gaming rig <clears throat> or purchase these ridiculous expensive uh, graphics cards. And guess what? On top of you playing a game and streaming it from their data center, you can also use a shadow. You can take a photo mode, take some snapshots and pictures, share it. You can also use a game filter. You can also do a live stream. You can actually you can broadcast. Check this out. You don't even need a capture card. You don't even need a capture card. You can actually broadcast directly to YouTube while you're playing this game. And I'm going to show you how to do that tomorrow. You will see. It's very simple. Uh, easy to set up, you just link in your account from YouTube, Google, to the NVIDIA and you're good to go. Uh, this is yet another bonus uh, that GeForce Now has that Google Stadia is missing. So, so let's play, let's play this game. This is Google Stadia, just so everybody understands. I'm not, you know, pulling anybody's uh, legs here I'm gonna show you in a second here so you can see just let me show you the uh, the options just so everybody understands this is Nvidia VGX native monitor that's what they're using as you can see right here it uses a uh, Nvidia Tesla T10 T10 and uh, it has some kind of special custom made CPU 3.5 gigahertz everything set to maximum uh, in terms of graphics everything we're gonna set everything to to ultra ultra high so we're gonna uh, we're gonna restart the application again here it is now you know that I'm using a NVIDIA GeForce Now. And this is awesome. The fact, dude, how cool is this? No, really, guys. How awesome is this? I don't have to purchase HD60S capture card. I don't have to worry about a capture card. Everything is here for me. For $5 a month, I can record a game footage while I'm playing it. I can live stream it to my YouTube channel or to Twitch or whatever. I mean, how cool is that? Or Mixer? How awesome is that? That you can do everything with this one service. You don't have to worry about expensive laptop. You don't have to worry about buying an expensive gaming laptop. You can just take something mediocre. As long as you have a good internet connection, balanced internet connection, you pretty much are good to go. You don't need to bother buying any of this other equipment this is what it's all about guys convenience and value this is what I was talking about and this is what I'm looking for when it comes to cloud gaming this is what I'm looking for the features okay and this is something that Google doesn't seem to understand this is something that Google Stadia doesn't get it <clears throat> okay so I mean, look, this is a, an awesome start for NVIDIA GeForce. Uh, I'm very happy with what they're doing right now. And um, as you will see, the quality here is top-notch, 1080p60, no, no problem. And um, Google Stadia, it's been out for three months, and, and they're still struggling to bring features. They're still struggling to figure out what they're going to do. 
and look at NVIDIA. Look at NVIDIA GeForce. They played it smart. They put it in beta for how many years? Seven years. And now, after seven years, finally, GeForce Now. It's better than ever. Look at this. Look at the quality and, and just how awesome it looks. Come on, man. Now, again, as I said earlier on my previous live stream, I don't know who's going to be the winner. Who's going to win? You know, we got a lot of competitors out there. We got Shadow PC. We got GeForce Now, NVIDIA. We're going to have Amazon, Steam, possibly. Uh, and then you got the xCloud. And, of course, Google right there in the middle. But currently right now, I can tell you, currently, the way things are right now, I can tell you that... Uh, NVIDIA GeForce probably, to me, in my opinion, it's shaping up to be your best bet, okay? This is an excellent launch. This is a very successful launch for NVIDIA, okay? So let's just say that they successfully have launched their service, and if they continue like this, if they continue to... Uh, to keep pushing like this, keep moving like this, I'm telling you guys, NVIDIA GeForce could, turns out to be probably the best cloud gaming service. But, again, you know, we're gonna have to wait and see, see what happens. Uh, but for right now, GeForce now, uh, it's really phenomenal. I've been playing so many games on it. I've been testing so many games with the ultra settings and runs smooth as a butter, man. No issues. No hiccups. And, uh, I mean, look at the graphics here. I mean, just... Maybe I can get a little bit closer, like I did yesterday. Hold on. So, this is awesome. Like I said, the fact that you can use a shadow... What I mean is shadow is the uh, shadow play. The fact that you can capture via shadow play, that you can live stream directly from your uh, GeForce Now, that you can record directly from your GeForce Now, that you can uh, create videos, put them together, edit them, as you are playing, that's freaking awesome. So basically, you just take your low-end computer with a controller, take it with you somewhere, and all you need is a good stable internet connection, and guess what? You're good to go, you don't have to worry about anything, and uh, this is the future, man. Guys, I mean, I know you heard me say this millions of times. This is the future. Convenient, easy access, um, this is what people want, to take their experience with them everywhere they want to go. And, and you know what, Phil Spencer, he's been talking about uh, cloud gaming, and I think that's where he wants to go as well. Cloud gaming is the future, guys. If it wasn't the future, I wouldn't be bothering, let me tell you, I wouldn't bother making these videos. I wouldn't bother talking about it. Others wouldn't bother talking about it if that was the case. But guess what? It is. And I mean, I'm right now currently on my old, I'm not kidding. I'm on my old uh, Dell computer that has a lousy A10 chip from AMD and it's like a lousy lousy slow slow computer but it doesn't matter that it's lousy it doesn't matter that it's slow 
I can still enjoy this quality. I can still record. I can still live stream. And I can do all of that with a very shitty, a very shitty laptop. Okay, all I need is just a good, stable internet connection. 150 megabits will get the job done. So, yeah. Uh, this is the future, fellas and ladies. Okay. Uh, now, who's going to win this? Who's going to dominate this? Well, I can tell you. So far, uh, GeForce Now seems to be doing pretty darn great. I have nothing negative to say about GeForce Now. Uh, the only thing that kind of sucked about GeForce Now was the uh, the shield. Uh, I think they need to work on the NVIDIA shield. They need to uh, get the controllers to be more compatible because I'm not a huge fan of using a mouse and keyboard on in front of my television. I don't mind using a mouse and keyboard in front of my monitor, but I do mind using my mouse and keyboard in front of my television. I want to kick back blacks on the couch. Hopefully, with the NVIDIA Shield 2 this summer, when they announce it, hopefully they're going to uh, bring us that better user interface and better compatibility for the controller experience. <clears throat> right? So anyway, I'm going to go ahead and... Um, The reason why I say spotty connections because sometimes it varies. Sometimes the internet can vary, can go up and down, up and down, depending on, you know, see like right now, it all depends. Uh, so when I talk about a stable internet connection, that's what I mean. All right, so I hope you guys enjoyed this video and uh, let me know what you think. Look, guys, this is without any. Elgato. I'm not using Elgato. I'm not using any capture card. This is directly from my shitty old Dell. Uh, I'm sorry, Hewlett Packard, not Dell. My Hewlett Packard HP lousy satellite old laptop. And, and I recorded this directly from it. And uh, I'm going to upload the video directly from it. And this is the future guys this is what this is what I was talking about convenience easy access accessibility and uh, there you have it I mean this video speaks for itself so yeah you can use a uh, shadow gameplay uh, and uh, you can capture your footage you can live stream your footage I might actually do a live stream directly like this uh, just to show you what's possible so yeah, there you have it, guys. I hope you, uh, I hope you like this video, and I'll see you soon, guys. Take care. Here, I'm gonna go ahead and show you. Right here, you press Alt and Z, and there it is. I'm gonna stop the recording, and that's that. I'll see you guys uh, on my next video in the next live stream. Take care. Have a good one, guys. Thank you all for the support. Uh, I'm getting so close to hitting 36,000 subscribers and thank you all for making that happen. It might not be a big number for some, but at 36,000, it's a pretty big number to me. Uh, so thank you guys.